Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you guys doing? I hope all of you guys are fine. Uh, so we were discussing section number seven of paper number two for Cambridge Olivelle's Computer Science two to one zero. The section name is Algorithm Design and Problem Solving. I am Omar and uh, will continue with this video series and get over with that pesky section number seven and uh, we have already done section number uh, till section number 7.7 .7. today we are going to start section 7.8 so sit tight and here we go the section 7 points sorry 7.7 .7 we have already um, discussed and today we are going to discuss 7.8 finding errors in algorithm Trace tables and test data can be used to identify and correct errors. Many different solutions to a given problem are possible. So uh, remember one thing, normally like uh, we use assignment operators, normally we write something like uh, count equals to count plus one, something like this or we but this is not the only way might be possible the examiner would write it uh, like this do not identify this as an error okay so examiner sometimes give uh, um, pseudo code that is slightly different than the format you are used to of in Cambridge O levels do not penalize uh, do not identify it as an error it would not be accepted okay always go for sensible or more visible errors in order to consider effectiveness of a given algorithm always ask the following questions does the algorithm uh, means ask yourself does the algorithm work for all possible sets of data and secondly does the output in the trace table matches the logical possible output for example, following test data is used to dry run an algorithm uh, which takes a list of numbers and output the average. The input data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the trace table shows the output as 5. So how would you know if this is correct or not? Quickly add all these numbers together. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 should give you 3 as the mean or an average but you're getting output as 5 that means there's a logical problem with your written algorithm or flowchart whatever you have written either a pseudocode or a flowchart so by using trace tables and the output column you can I easily identify whether your given uh, algorithm has any errors or not the most common errors given in questions are syntax errors but they are not the only type of errors there are often logical errors as well the most common mistakes or errors to look for in a given set of algorithms are that the loop does not repeat enough times the examiner says you have to input let's suppose 500 marks or uh, okay maybe 500 is a bit too much let's suppose uh, the examiner says in the first line that you have to input the marks for uh, 50 students but the counter or the loop only goes till 30 or it goes till 60 a while or repeat until loop has no or wrong exit clause like for example the examiner has started a while loop but it he or she has written at the end instead of end while he or she has written until or next count or another common mistake is that examiner is using for loop but he has all also written count equals to count plus one before next count or examiner is using while or repeat loop but he or he has not included the counting statement or the count uh, has not incremented the counter in it his algorithm wrong operator used in a while or repeat loop like wrong conditions given for the repeat or uh, while loop 
find this is also true for many if conditions it's not always necessary that these type of mistakes would only occur in a while or repeat loop a nested if or a if statement can also have wrong logical operators or comparison operators final output is within the loop causing excessive output means you are printing the average inside the loop that is a huge blunder wrong operators used in conditions or wrong counting or totaling statements that being said these are simply all the guidelines all the points that you need to keep in your mind now let's uh, go ahead and solve an actual question from the past papers and, and try to apply these points and see how well we ca can do and so this is let me just adjust it a little So this is a question from May June 15 paper number 22 question number 2 read this section of program code and uh, that should input 30 positive numbers and then output the largest uh, number inputted now so this is the algorithm given and it says there are four errors in this code locate this these errors and suggest a corrected piece of code for each error so let's start large equals to 9999 okay this has to be an error because we only initialize the smallest value with a big number we do not initialize large or maximum value with a big number we initialize it with zero so this is our first error and we'll simply write it as it is and then we would suggest a correction or you can write it like this as well or you can write it in form of statement as well is wrong it should be again there are different ways of uh, solving this so it's fine how you uh, write your answer you just make sure that as it says locate these errors and suggest a corrected piece of code that means you have to first of all write the wrong piece of code and then you have to um, suggest the correction or you can simply write it line number one these are the line numbers line number one has an error line one has an error it should be you can also write it like this counter equals to zero that is fine while counter is greater than 30 no that is wrong if the this condition would never be met counter is zero so the loop would not run so this is wrong like i said wrong logic uh, comparative operators or comparison operators are one of the most common types of errors found in the question so this should this is line number three line three has an error it should be what it should be while counter is less than 30 so the loop should run from 0 till 29 30 times do input number okay that is fine if number is less than large then large equals to number no that is wrong we do not want small numbers we want larger numbers so it should be as we have seen in the lecture about standard methods of solution how to calculate a maximum it should be number if number is greater than large like we discussed often if conditions have the wrong logical uh, or comparative operators as well so line 6 has an error or line 6 contains error 
it should be what it should be if number is greater than large then large equals to number or num what the examiner has provided so this is an error over here counter equals to counter minus one now technically we should be going on to the next count not towards the previous count because the count equals to count minus one or the negative counting only 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 occurs in supermarkets where or warehouses where you are keeping an inventory of stocks in all other instances in all other algorithm the counting statement is always counter equals to counter plus one or count equals to count plus one so this has to be our final error that is line number seven what it should be counter equals to counter plus one and there you go you have found your four errors you have suggested the corrections and you have scored yourself a perfect four marks now underlining these are not important there are no marks for that i've only underlined them in for your explanation for your um, understanding you do not need to do that but if you want in your paper or while practice you can do the same first of all you can read the algorithm again and again and you can underline it and once once you have once you are once you are certain that you have found all the required errors then you can simply come down and write them uh, there is no problem okay there are many questions of finding errors in algorithm in the past papers they do not come every year or in every variant but they occur after after every um, they occur quite often so do a lot of practice and you'll be soon you'll be an expert in finding errors and you'll have again this type of question is most likely to come in your paper for about four four to five marks so keep on practicing if you have any problems feel free to ask me please leave your comments below subscribe to my channel and please support me uh, tell your friends about it as well and i'll see you guys in the next lecture take care allah hafiz